Now, I'm fairly certain I can win these games, Lady Allison. Having your favour would all but assure it. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're examining our picks for the 10 times Matt Smith was an absolute legend. <laughs> I live to fight another day. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the best moments in the 11th Doctor performer's career, both on and off screen, that made him a national treasure. Be warned, there are some House of the Dragon spoilers. If all the Doctor Whos were in a fight, who would win? Let us know below. Heavy is the head. With Smith playing Daemon Targaryen in House of the Dragon, one of the best moments in the series' first season is when he helps his brother King Viserys Targaryen. King Viserys of House Targaryen, the first of his name, King of the Andals, and the Rhoynar, and the First Men. As the ruler takes his final steps towards his throne, he stumbles, needing Daemon's help. At one point, his crown falls to the floor. Daemon picks it up and places it back on Viserys' head. I said I'm fine. <sighs> Come on. Well, this moment was improvised, but staying within the moment, Smith made this part of the scene, and the poetry of it was poignant. Creating the show hasn't been easy for Matt Smith. When filming a stunt, the helmet he was wearing hit a disc in his neck. This resulted in him needing physio months afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. Yield. Food combo nightmare. Can I have an apple? All I can think about. Apples. I love apples. Maybe I'm having a craving. That's new, never had cravings before. It's always rough for an actor making their first appearance as the Doctor in Doctor Who. What is the audience going to think? How does one make this different from the last person? Well, Smith didn't need to worry when he took the plunge in the episode The Eleventh Hour in 2010. He immediately differentiated himself from David Tennant's portrayal. Bacon. <laughs> bacon. That's bacon. Are you trying to poison me? After crash landing in the TARDIS, the Doctor arrives at a young girl's house and tries some food. However, everything he tries is terrible, thanks to his regenerating. But for some reason, fish fingers and custard is the right choice. Mm. Funny. Am I? Good. Funny's good. Even watching him dip a finger into the yellow liquid makes us uncomfortable. But you just know, many fans tried this bizarre pairing at the time. Welcoming the new blood. The Doctor Who show is very much like a family, it seems. Even after leaving, joining a new project and moving on in life, the BBC series will still beckon you back with a sonic screwdriver. With the news that Jodie Whittaker was set to bow out as the Doctor, the search for a replacement began, and the producers selected the wonderful Shruti Gatwa from Sex Education. You should wash your hands, you dirty pig! When Smith was at the House of the Dragon premiere, he was asked about Gatwa's casting, and he couldn't have been nicer about it. I'm so excited for that. I think it's the most sensational bit of casting. Smith praised Gatwa's brilliant work in the Netflix show and described his casting as sensational. On top of this, he also spoke highly of returning showrunner Russell T Davies. I think Russell has such a sense of the show as well. And um, I'm really, really excited to see where Doctor Who's going. Harry's granddad. After Doctor Who, Smith needed a new project to grab onto and he found that in The Crown. The Duke of Edinburgh shall henceforth be known as His Royal Highness, the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. Taking on the role of Prince Philip for the first two series, he was heavily praised for his work, even getting a Primetime Emmy nomination. But one of the biggest compliments came from Prince Harry. At a polo event, the real-life royal walked up to Smith and called him Grandad, thus confirming that some of the royals have at least seen a bit of the crown. And he rocked up to me and he went, Grandad. Granddad? That's yeah, because he, oh, he watched the show. Oh my gosh, oh, he watches How the show. Yeah, well, I mean, that? I can't claim to know if he watches it currently, but he'd watched he, a bit oh of it then. God. Speaking of Smith interacting with celebs, when he was filming Doctor Who with singer Catherine Jenkins for a Christmas special, he sang to her in between takes. Jenkins even complimented his voice. 
which is high praise indeed. The singing resonates in the crystals. It's feeding back and forth between the two halves of the screwdriver now. One song filling the sky. The crystals will align and I'll feed in a controlled phase loop and the clouds will unlock. Well dressed. Excuse me a moment. Listen, I've got an idea to break the ice. Why don't I project my clothes hologram onto their visual cortexes too? So, to be clear, no one except me can see your clothes? Yes, and I'm starting to think it may be causing tension. If we had beaten David Beckham in anything, it would be front and centre on all of our social media accounts. But if we had placed higher than him in a best dress competition, something he's really well known for, then we would probably get that tattooed on ourselves. And if Smith felt similar, he could do just that. Oh, nice. The new yeah. coating, man. All right. Do you like it? Nice like yeah, it's, it's a good cool, idea. It? In 2015, the magazine GQ released their 50 best men in Britain. Smith placed number 23. He beat the likes of Taron Egerton at 40, Sir Paul Smith at 43, Tom Hardy at 45, and David Beckham at 46. To make it a double defeat for the Beckham family, Smith placed higher than Romeo at 25. One positive. Now this may surprise you, but the Sony film Morbius wasn't a big success. What, what is it? I made a terrible mistake, Milo. We won't make mistakes, don't worry about it. Right, you've never made one like this before. It was slated by fans and critics alike, so it became a meme with Morbin time. Then, Sony re-released the film in cinemas, which bombed as well. But if there's one thing that's escaped the savage mocking, it was Smith as the antagonist Milo Morbius. <laughs> Just his dance alone is worth the price of admission. And we all have Karen Gillan to thank. She convinced her former Doctor Who castmate to take on a superhero role after her experiences as Nebula. Morbius really highlighted the talents of Smith as a character actor. If they ever make another film, hopefully, they select a prequel all about Milo. Come on! You can do better than this! It's not a curse, it's a gift. Vincent wept. Since Vincent von Hoch was in the news recently after the Just Stop Oil protest, the Dutch artist has been trending again. But especially the iconic scene from Doctor Who. Come on, back to the cafe, and you can tell me about all the wonders of the universe. Good idea. Although, actually, there's a little something I'd like to show you first. Taking place in the episode Vincent and the Doctor, after battling an alien, the Doctor takes von Hoch into the present. There, he witnesses his work on exhibition at the Musée d'Orsay. Von Hoch, who struggled to realise how important his work was, he has just how vital an artist he is, bringing him to tears. Pain is easy to portray, but to use your passion and pain to portray the ecstasy and joy and magnificence of our world, no one had ever done it before. Perhaps no one ever will again. It's a wonderfully acted sequence by Tony Corran as Von Hoch, Smith as the Doctor and Bill Nye as Dr. Black. It highlights the artist's talent as well as his struggle with mental health. I'm sorry, is it too much? No, they are tears of joy. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. Quirky real life. As the Doctor, Smith is known for playing the role in an often unconventional fashion. Until things get serious, anyway. Regardless, fans of the 11th Doctor might be delighted to know he has quirky tendencies in real life. I thought, well, I, I started to think that maybe you were just like a madman with a box. Amy Pond, there's something you better understand about me because it's important. And one day, your life may depend on it. I am definitely a madman with a box. In 2022, a story came out that Smith and a group of friends and colleagues from House of the Dragon attempted to get into the XOYO club in Shoreditch. Worried about the group being turned away, the actor got creative with his famous face. Smith quietly approached the door staff and asked them if they wanted to have selfies. Finding the situation hilarious, they enthusiastically agreed. As a result, Smith and his gang got into the club. Silent praise. Where are you? When watching The House of the Dragon, you're taken on a bit of a roller coaster journey with the character of Daemon Targaryen. If he isn't taking part in massive adult experiences, then he can be found laying waste to foes on the battlefield. And in Episode 3, the latter really came into play. 
Taking on Crabfeeder's army, Damon doesn't say a word during the entire episode beyond his introduction at the beginning. After that, he was silent. Smith's great acting did all the talking for him. The performance drew lots of praise from fans, with some claiming Smith deserves an Emmy for his work. And it's hard to argue with them. You wear a crown. Do you also call yourself king? Once we smash the triarchy, they name me king of the narrow sea. Football Heights. We've got a match today, Pub League. We're one down if you fancy it. Pub League. A drinking competition. No. Football. Play football. Football. Football! Yes, blokes play football. I'm good at football, I think. There comes a point in most people's lives that a dream that they had for a long time just isn't possible anymore. It can be a crushing experience, and it's something that Smith knows all too well. In his early life, he was set to have a career in football. You any good, though? Let's find out. <laughs> he played for big youth teams like Nottingham Forest and even captained the Leicester City team. He probably had hoped to play for the team he loves, Blackburn Rovers. However, Smith, unfortunately, suffered a serious back injury known as spondylolysis. So, he had to give up playing. After some forceful persuasion by his drama teacher cousin, Lee Killick, Smith soon turned his passion towards the acting world. And the rest is history. I love this game! Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.